on my screen. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the art workbook for you guys. Uh, we're just going to wait a little bit longer. Oh, Nathan left, I think. All right, it's still going to try to record. Give me, give it one sec. I think it's Mr. Have, have it is recording. Mr. Rail, it is recording. Oh, thank you. All right, so with that said, Mr. we're going to get. Linda. Oh, okay. All right. Um, all right, I want to get started, guys. Here we go. It's okay. If you can't find your workbook, uh, just get a blank sheet of paper out, and that will be good to go. All right, here we go. So this is the workbook. Um, what I'm going to do personally, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to put a check mark on it right now so I don't forget because I'm completely done after this day. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, because just in case you decorated the front, that's fine. But if you just flip to the very back page, oh, Carson, you're presenting, buddy. That's okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna flip to the very back page here. So we did patterns last week, and we did it on the reverse side right there. So that's done. So the next page is the very last page, and it said artist statement, and we should have a blank page on the reverse side or on the opposite side of that. We're gonna be using this blank page today, okay? All right, so here we go. Artist statement. So this is the page that we should be focusing on. Jason, stop playing. All right, here we go. It says, it is important to be able to write an artist statement about your own work. An artist statement tells people who look at your art how you feel about it and what you want them to know. So let's write an artist statement. So pause right there. You don't need to do anything right now. Let's just discuss what it's going to talk about and what this is for. So if you guys ever been to a museum before um, or some sort of gallery of some sort that has a bunch of artwork? You're frozen. Sorry, you know I know. I, pa I paused. Here, let me change my layout to a little bit smaller. Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. Hopefully... I don't freeze as much. All right, so like, like I was saying, if you guys ever been to a museum or a gallery, uh, sometimes you'll see like a little tiny metal plaque attached to the wall near a painting or like near a statue. Um, so basically what that is, it's basically telling you a couple things. It's telling you uh, who the art is by. It tells you uh, what the art is called. And sometimes it'll tell you uh, what it's made out of, especially if it's like a certain type of paint. And then finally, it'll tell you more about why they did it and what they were trying to go for when it comes to their drawing or painting that they're trying to talk about. All right, so that's basically what an artist statement is. So let's go over what we would do if we were to make one. Yes, go ahead, Ben. All right, so first of all, the first one says title of art. That's pretty simple. So when we make our art today, you're just going to give it a title. You can call it anything you want. Next one, it says, I use these art supplies to make my art. Normally, you would write it down, but for us, for second grade, it's a little bit easier. All you gotta do is circle the supplies that you use. Next one, it says, I created a blank. That's basically the subject of what you did. So if you did an animal, then, then you would write down animal. Or if you drew, like, I don't know, a pie, then you'd write down, like, food or something like that. Next one, it says, I used these shapes and colors in making my art. So you would basically talk about, like, how you made it. And then the last, uh, the second to last one says, my artwork makes me feel, and you'd basically write an emotion. So maybe if you wrote down, if you drew like a hamburger, then you could write down, my artwork makes me, makes me feel hungry or happy or something like that. That's what it means right there. And then for the very last one, it says, I also want to share, and then blank. So basically anything else you didn't talk about that your artwork is about. So what you're going to do, I want you guys to just ignore this page for now. And just focus and have this page out. So either a blank sheet of paper or this page right here. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look at these three choices. Okay. These three topic choices right here. So we're going to go over each and every one of them. Let me just raise it a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Here you go. All right. So these three choices include favorite activity, favorite food, and for choice. Let me explain what each of these choices are, okay? All right, so what this means is that if you have a favorite activity, 
You could draw like a favorite sport. You could draw like basketball or baseball or soccer. You could draw um, you drawing, or you could draw like you playing an instrument. You could draw you doing math or something, or you could draw yourself like watching TV or playing a video game. You could draw anything of that nature. Uh, all right, so number two, draw your favorite foods. You can either draw like, I don't know, like a hamburger or like a frappuccino from Starbucks or something. You can draw anything like that. And then last but not least, if there's anything up here that you don't like to draw, then it would be going down to number three. Number three's option is called your choice. So what you're gonna do right now is right on the reverse side of the artist statement page, you're gonna draw anything you want, either from number three or basically focus on one of the other topics such as food or activity, and you're gonna draw it right here. Once you're done, once you're done, then you can try to give it a name. You can try to fill out the rest of this artist statement and then you'll be done, okay? So that's what you'll do right now. You guys have a couple, actually, no, you guys have a long time, actually. You guys have about, I wanna say eight minutes to draw anything from this topic. So I'll leave this page up. There we go. And then that way you guys can see it and you guys can draw whatever you want. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna improve, I'm gonna change my layout just in case if anyone has any questions. So you guys have a question, you can raise your hand. All right, Nithiksha, what is your question? Um, I forgot. That's okay. Anyone else have a question while everyone else is still working? Merrick, did you have a question? I saw your hand up. Uh, Merrick, I think he went offline. Okay, um, all right, Jayla, what is your question? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, Merrick, did you have a question? Yeah. Okay, what is it? What do you do when you're done? Oh, you fill out the uh, artist statement right here. And if you finish this artist statement already, then just hang out until everyone's done. And I'll get volunteers to share at the end. All right. Um, let's Wait, see. hang on. What was that? Wait, what'd you say? You're going to fill out this artist statement right here, this page right here, once you're done with your artwork. I don't have it. I'm at my neighbor's house. And oh, I'm uh, sorry. Okay, so say, for instance, you drew. You, okay, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so if you already finished drawing on a blank sheet of paper, tell you what, I'll leave this one up. That way it's, hold on, let's see if we can prop this up a little, a little bit higher. Um, you guys see this? Hold on. I need something to higher to make it higher, guys. One sec. All right, hopefully this works. I'll try to raise it with more books here. All right. So you just fill this out in the back here uh, on the back here project. Title of art. I created a blank. What kind of feelings? This basically just write down what you. Let's basically write about your artwork basically on the back of your paper if you don't have a packet. Okay. Um. I think I have time for one more question because after this one last question, um, we're gonna start sharing. Uh, Evie, do you have a question? What was the last one? After after when you're done with the um, writing, what do you have to do next? Oh, you just hang out. Oh, we're gonna start sharing in a little bit. It's pretty boring, but okay. All right, the time now is ten forty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna call for volunteers. So if you would like to share what you drew, uh, you can. If you drew like I don't know, like Among Us, or if you drew like uh, Mr. Mel, or food, or like a sport, I'd love to see it. So, anyone want to volunteer and share with us what you've done? Oh, I'm gonna you pick Mr. Mel, my screen is black, so you can't really see. I don't know if you can see my screen because it's all completely black. It is. You might have to log in and log back out, Isabella. All right, Daniela, go ahead. That for the first one I did for the favorite hobby, I liked to play soccer. Oh, nice. Good job. Is that the title of your artwork, too? Yeah. Cool. That I don't know. All right. Who else would like to share? I see Olivia's hand up. Olivia, go ahead. You're like my favorite activity. This was a long time ago. 
I used to love playing Nintendo Switch until we decided to actually get sell sell it. Oh, cool! And for food, my favorite food was actually a hot dog, but now I really like burgers. Nice anyway. job! All right, anyone else would like to talk about their artwork? Yes, I know Ben. Um, Merrick, do you want to share what you did? Yeah. I just did a whole bunch of fishing rules. Oh, that's awesome. I'm assuming you like fishing. Good job. What? I'm assuming you like fishing. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Um, let us see who else would like to share. Um, let's see whose hand I see. I see Carson. Would you like to share? Yeah. So on my Switch, I like playing Super Smash Bros. And my favorite character is Sonic. So I drew a picture of Super Sonic. Oh, cool. All right. Um, we have time for at least maybe three or four more friends. Let's keep going. Um, Isabel, I see you now. Would you like to share now that we can see you? Me. Um, I'm going to share with you what I just drew on the, in the artwork uh, because I found that. Great. Would like to see it? Oh wow, you're really good at art. Oh, and I see how like you're kind of like trying to sketch the body and the head. It's very professional. Good job. All right. I need to my own little sketchbook. Oh, that's good. All right, we still have more time. Um, I see Nathan's hand up. Go ahead. So um, I really like tornadoes, so I draw a house with a tornado. It's called EF five. That means it's a ginormous tornado. It's the most strongest tornado. Oh, that's really informative. Good job. All right. Um, let's see. Anyone else would like to share? Wow, you guys all would like to share. All right. How about this? We'll make it a little bit more fair. How about everyone hold up their picture that they want to share with us to the camera, and then I will try to narrate the best that I can to point out people that way they can see. Um, I see Teddy's a uh, Minecraft. Abigail, I see your – is that a bunny? Pretty cool. Um, Grayson, I see his uh, kind of like a Teddy – there, I think. Zombie teddy bear? I don't know. Um, I see Malia's Excuse drawing. Me, Mr. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, I don't I don't have anything to show you. I want I want to tell you something. Okay. Um go ahead. I, I see David uh, uh, Among Us too. It's Among Us with high kids hat. My grandma and grandpa w went to um a mo um a place where a movie a movie was filmed, and they also got to see the Mona Lisa in person. Oh, cool! All right. Um, did everyone get to show the picture on the camera at least? Are All right, Mr. Mel. Oh, what's up? Are we allowed to call her? Oh, okay. All right, um, unfortunately, it's 10.40. Mr. Mel? Yes. Yeah? It was Snowball from Secret Life of Pets 2. Oh, okay. All right, unfortunately, it's 10.45. Uh, we're past time now, so we're going to get going. All right, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Mr.